Two months ago, I made a game in only 48 hours. But today we're upping the stakes and downing the hours. <laughs> Listen, I don't know, what I'm trying to say is, I'll be making a game in one day, aka 12 hours. But you already knew that based on the title of this video and the thumbnail, so uh, I don't really know what the point of this intro is. Just, just cut to the video and I'll be taking my leave. Yeah. So the clock just turned 10am, which means we are ready to get started. The very first thing I did was make a circle. Circles are cool and, and they're round and, and stuff and you- Anyway, the plan is to make a ball you can bounce around into other balls and score points. So I added a mechanic that allows you to throw the ball around with your mouse. Then I added a slow motion effect whenever you're aiming as well as squeezing the ball to give it more feedback. Is it necessary? Not really. Is it cool? Yeah. Hell yeah. I also made it so you have to touch the ground to regain your jump. This is basically important so players don't just spam jump up into the sky. And of course I made a super basic camera script that follows the player and also zooms based on the player's speed. Now that we have the very basics, let's start with the fun stuff. So first off, I added an enemy into the game. When you hit them you get a boost upwards and you also regain your jump. This is where things start to get fun as you can now combo the enemies without touching the floor. But so far it's looking a bit bland and boring, so we need to juice up the game real quick. The easiest way of doing this is adding particles, because particles are cool and I mean everybody loves particles. So I made a quick enemy explosion effect using Unity's built-in particle system, and voila the juice levels have now reached new heights. And speaking of juice, time for a quick toilet break. Toilet break is over, I'm juiced up and ready to get back at it. I quickly added a score system and then got to work on sound effects. I'm gonna use SFXR, which is a free sound effect generator to make my sounds, and here's what it sounds like so far. We still need to juice up the game a bit more, so I added Unity's post-processing stack to make the graphics look a bit better, and I also made the player squeeze when moving fast and rotating towards the velocity. Then I added a low pass filter to the sounds and music when you're in slow motion, and finally put together a health bar. As you can tell, you lose HP by using slow motion, so you have to constantly hit enemies in order to get your health back up. But now I'm getting a bit hungry, so it's time for lunch. I'm just gonna make some quick scrambled eggs, and someone told me in the comment section that I should crack them on a flat surface, which totally did not work at all. Probably just because I'm terrible with eggs, but uh, maybe cracking them on a flat surface isn't so good of an idea. I don't know. I, I'm not a cook. I'm a programmer, okay? Stop judging me, please. Lunch is done, and I started working on the camera shake. But I had so much trouble here, I just could not get it to work. I had already wasted like one hour trying to fix this strange bug and I just could not figure out why it was happening for the life of me. And boy was I starting to feel the pressure at this point. I finally figured it out and I now have a camera shake in place, but it was definitely not worth wasting that much time with it. I'm pretty much like one hour behind schedule because of it, so I just have to get right back to work. First off, let's improve the camera controller. It will now zoom out more depending on several factors like for example how high in the air you are and also how fast you're moving. Then I added more sound effects and made it so you actually die when running out of HP. We also need more variety in enemies, so I added a green spike enemy that kills you on impact. Kinda looks like a creeper. Oh man! Also made a purple entity which will shoot you off into a random direction once you hit it. But I swear it is it is not random. It always shoots me off into the green boys and then I die every single time. So I'm telling you, do not trust the purple boys. Y you can't trust them. And of course we have to actually make the enemies spawn on the stage because otherwise we don't really have a game. So I put together a quick algorithm that spawns enemies as you move, and the way that the algorithm works is that the amount of enemies spawning will decrease linearly with the height. Now that sounds really smart, and you have to keep in mind I'm not very smart, so I definitely found this on Google, but I make the rules so it is allowed to find algorithms on Google. Boom. 
Anyway, therefore you are better off not going too high as there are fewer enemies up there. I also added a healer enemy and a golden enemy that gives you a lot of points. Also, I'm not quite sure why I call them enemies, like one of them literally heal you, so I don't, I don't know. So it's currently 4 p.m., which means we're halfway there and we got six hours left. Now, I'm pretty, oh, oh God, okay. As I was saying, I'm pretty happy with where we are. We kind of have like a playable game already. Um, but there are a few things miss- uh, yep, and I die instantly. So, uh, we still have a couple of things to do, uh, but I'm pretty happy with where we are. But I'm getting pretty hungry now, so I'm gonna go make some dinner and then continue afterwards. I just finished dinner and we have approximately five and a half hours left, I think, and there are a million things to do. But we're looking good so far, so uh, we're just gonna get right back to work and uh, hopefully finish off. I'm done with dinner, so it's time to make some music. Here's the result, I only spent about like 30 minutes on this, so it's nothing too wild, but I think it gets the job done. Time is starting to get a bit tight, and we still have a lot of essential features and bugs to fix. First off, I did some minor optimizations so that the entities off-screen will despawn. Then I added some UI so you can actually restart the game once you die, and I also fixed it up so entities will always explode with their correct colors. You will now also lose HP constantly even when you're standing still, and I finally added some more sound effects. I've also spent a good amount of time trying to add a small score pop-up effect when you blow up enemies that shows how many points you got for killing that specific enemy, but it doesn't seem to want to work, it just kind of want to run away. I also had some issues with the trajectory not working, so it's not looking too good right now. Finally got the score pop-ups and the trajectory working, but we're already down to three hours, and my brain is starting to get really fried up. But I'm not about to give up now, so let's just push these last three hours to the absolute limit. The music will now dampen once you die. I finally added a combo system so you're rewarded for playing well and quickly, and this made it much more fun and addicting. The health bar now accurately displays your current health. And finally I added a new entity, Black Hole, which will kill you if you get sucked in. So I just finished implementing the black hole and I currently have about 15 minutes left. And uh, I think we're finished. Uh, I, I cheated a bit because it's actually one minute past 10. Uh, which means I'm disqualified, but it's not that big of a deal because it's my own competition, so, you know, who cares? The final hour I spent adding more particle effects, high score, and also made the slow motion effect a bit better. So, there it is, a game made in 12 hours. If you want to try it out, it's completely free, the link is in the comment section or description down below, and it's available for Windows, Linux, and Mac. I want to make it available for mobile devices too, but that's for my next video, so you better make sure to smash that subscribe button so you don't miss the video. My current high score is around 150,000 points, so you can try and beat me sucker, but you probably can't because I'm a gamer god, just kidding, I suck, please don't beat me, have mercy, please. As always, massive thanks to all of my Patreon supporters for their amazing support, especially Soap Turtle. If you want to support me on Patreon, there is a link in the description down below. And of course, massive thanks to you watching my video. If you liked it, then make sure to smash like, and if you didn't, then smash dislike, and hopefully I will catch you in the next one. Also, please follow me on Twitter, I need more followers so I can flex, come on, please. Just go to twitter.com slash dannydev and just, just follow me, just give me, just hit that follow button. If you don't have an account, just make an account and just, just follow.